Admiral Preparedness here. Hello, all you YouTube fans. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and giving me your feedback. It's been very helpful. If you've seen these before, uh, that's great. If you haven't seen it before, I hope I'm able to show you exactly what this is. Goal Zero is a company that, out, that puts out some camping gear, uh, readiness gear, and uh, this product here, I believe, is out of production uh, I, I like it. I use it all the time. It's the Goal Zero Camp Set. You get a lantern. It has the USB charge port. It has a charging station allowing you to take the ability to produce electricity from other sources. This bottom comes off. I'll show you that later. The Goal Zero 2 panel solar charger unit 12 volts it can either take a charge be charged or put out a charge it has a device allowing you to use usb output uh, it has your 12 volt input what we have here is the charger cable what this does is plugs into here that plugs into this and then that can plug into that so you're actually using this panel assembly to charge the goal zero and also if you're already out there in the field and you don't want to use the Sun because today is a cloudy day look at this folks now as soon as I turn the crank electricity was starting to be gathered into the battery and output it to the light. So we'll push the button once. Now I have my warning or my here I am light. Okay. Now I'm shutting it off. Okay. Now as I rotate this, all that energy is now being produced and sent to the battery. About five minutes of cranking the power. You can go either way. It doesn't matter. As long as you're. Look at that. Okay, now since these are LEDs, it uses very little energy to produce enough light for your campsite, your RV, your room, light goes out. This is the ability to produce your own electricity. I really like these little devices because they've been around for decades, just not in this format. When the advent of the LED came out, that revolutionized the way we light ourselves at night. Again, you have the warning and of course the off switch now when you're sitting outside and you got this guy all hooked up producing your electricity you can do that uh, this right here is a perfect example of what American technology can do for you this is water resistant not waterproof it is a military style grade covering it has it is that you can connect up the four of these together. This is called the Nomad 7, Nomad 7. So if you see it on the internet out there, look it up. Uh, I'm sure there's probably more than one company that's out there now producing this panel assembly. You can put this on your backpack, hang it from your back of your backpack, set it out on a rock, place it up like that so the sun can charge it's really a uh, really a nifty i hate to say the word nifty it kind of dates me it's a nifty way to produce your own electricity during a shtf situation usb output if you can see that i'll bring it closer the goal zero you can look them up on the internet i'm not gonna i'm not being paid to give this a review so you look them up yourself uh, there's other companies out there also this wasn't very inexpensive around eighty dollars ninety dollars uh, retail going out there and trying to find it uh, Craigslist or eBay just be aware that if this is cracked in any way it's gonna put out zero voltage uh, each one of these metal lines here is the actual collector and in the center of each is the actual solar crystalline structure when you place this out in the sun, uh, be aware that uh, after an extended long exposure, 
it, you can damage these cells. <clears throat> Whatever you do, don't drop it or step on it. If you, it's not meant to bend. It's on a, it's a very rigid material. Up here is all flexible. Uh, it does come with an instruction manual with the lighthouse itself. That's the light, and then the Nomad Seven. It's in English. One side is in English. And it has uh, all the how-tos, technical information, best ways to allow the sun to charge. It does have a manufacturer's warranty, but this was well past that warranty period. The one thing I also like about this is it's kind of small and compact, so I can set it outside and nobody even notices that it's even out there. Uh, always maintain and keep the instructions. If you have a digital camera, take a photograph of that page and store it in your database. You'll always have it. Uh, I'm sure, uh, I haven't looked online. I'm sure this information is provided online. Thank me or everything else is by today's standards anyway. Notice it has a, a, a finger grab here for hanging on a tree. It has these grabs here, so if you want to put more than one cell to, array together, you can actually connect them. If you want to mount it to something temporarily, you have that ability also. Folds nice and easy, really nice and easy peasy, they say. Now, this guy here, again, this goes with this. This can go with this. They both go together, but underneath, it has a station for it. It is keyed, so you can't put it in wrong. Now, the one thing you want to be mindful of is there is a circuit card in here, and you want to be careful. Now, way down here is the, where the batteries, the nickel metal hydride battery is, and it is repairable. You can replace that battery if you have the know the know it all, the know it all to replace it. I like to always keep things handy and nifty. You store it in there, line up your keys, keyway there, and push it in. And of course, threading it's a little bit difficult. I've noticed that because of the material, you have to kind of work it a little bit to get it to go on. And once it goes on, it screws right in. Now just by turning that uh, crank for just a few times, you notice that the light was dim and it's dimming out. That's because it needs that crank. It's got a voltage regulator in there. Right now it's concentrating on putting most of the energy to the lights and to the battery. It's that voltage regulator. So crank, crank, crank. The faster you go, seems like the more it charges quicker. Of course, that's that uh, muscle builder. And then you're good to go again. All right, folks. That's our small, short demonstration review of the Goal Zero lighting system. It gets a two thumbs up for me. Remember, I'm preparing this here. Two things you need to do, take care of your family and take care of your country. It's the only one you got. Have a good day.